Good morning, friends. Welcome back to the vlog. Today, we are finishing the recording of my audiobook for the Enneagram Letters. I am so excited. It's been, I was very nervous, but the process has been really easy and supportive. There's all these little things that I'm trying to do to like take care of my voice. I'm trying to drink more tea. I'm trying to like just eat at the right times and eat the right foods so that like I don't get like phlegmy, <laughs> but also so that um, I'm not like digesting. It's like the microphone picks up every little sound. I don't want my tummy growling and stuff. Right now, I'm gonna do like a little bit of a morning routine. It's about 7.30 in the morning. I go there at 10. We'll probably record, I, well, I don't really know how long we'll record. Yesterday we recorded from about 10 to three and we got through about seven chapters and we're starting on chapter six now. We have like six, seven, eight, nine, and then conclusion, so five chapters. So maybe, you know, I think maybe we'll get it around one. So that's the plan for today. Um, I'm gonna celebrate afterwards or tonight just cause this feels like a really monumental moment and I don't wanna like just gloss over it. I don't wanna pretend like it's not, like it's just another day in my life, like another work day. It's like very exciting. This is like little kid Sarah Jane's dream to be able to like do this kind of work and to have this kind of accomplishment to be like, I recorded this thing. So yeah, it's a big feat for my lungs too. <laughs> I'm like proud of how well they're doing. We'll talk more about the book later when I have woken up, but right now I'm going to get ready and go get breakfast so I have a couple of hours to digest. So, yeah. Okay, I am back from breakfast. Um, I actually didn't tell you all, hold on. I actually didn't tell you all why I'm in a hotel. I'm actually in Asheville, <laughs> but I booked a hotel because I was really anxious and stressed about recording the audiobook. And um, we thought the days were gonna be like 10 to five every day. And I was like, I can't, <laughs> I can't just like go home and like either clean and cook or think about how I'm not cleaning and cooking and like be stressed about it. So, cause my stress levels were like pretty high, they were high. But now, yeah, getting the hotel just kind of gives me a place where like my main focus can be put on to the book um, for a couple of days, which is very helpful. And yeah, breakfast. Also tell me if you're like this, at breakfast, I ordered eggs and fruit and they gave me bacon and I didn't say anything. And then they charged me for the bacon and I was like, and I didn't tell anyone, I just paid for the bacon, I didn't order. <laughs> um, but I mean, it was really good bacon, honestly, so I'm not mad at it, but weird choice on my part. Now it is, what time is it? It's about 8.30. I'm going to sit down and do some yoga, pull cards. I made some lung tea. Um, yesterday at the beginning of session, my lungs were just like rough. Like they were struggling. Like we had to take a lot of breaks for me to just breathe. And um, I'm hoping if I drink my tea this morning, a little bit earlier this morning, talk a little bit more this morning, drink a lot more water before I go in, that we'll kind of get to skip that step. <laughs> um, I don't know if that's gonna work or not, but we'll try, I'm gonna try. Um, 
yeah, so I'm going to do the yoga situ situation, pull cards, all that fun stuff. I'll show you what I've got. So this is like my little travel yoga mat. It's actually a, a towel for hot yoga so you don't slip. It has these little grippies. Um, it's very thin. It's not like the most comfortable thing in the world, but it packs up really small into my carry-on. This and this strap right here just live in my carry-on bag at all times because that's I need them every time I travel. <clears throat> then I have these cards, which are from Chrissy Bentley. Hi, Chrissy. Um, I'm going to pull three of those cards. I'm going to do journal about it. And then I have my lung tea here and then a pillow just to use kind of like as a meditation pillow situation. So that, all of that. And then this is my view, which I am not mad at at all. Um, on the elevator, heading down to my car. Go record. Let's go. All right, I just pulled into the parking lot. Um, I hear. Um, I just pulled into the parking lot. I am like 10 minutes early, which is great because it'll give me time to talk for a minute and get my voice rolling. I feel like, so I feel like maybe I did something like illegal or like not illegal, but just like sus because the road that the parking lot is on is technically closed, but I knew that I could cut through another parking lot and like still get to their parking lot if I just kind of and so that's what I did and I think that I'm like in the clear I'm low-key worried that when I get out I'm gonna be like blocked in or something by like construction building workers or whatever but I'm you know hoping that's not the case and just really believing and manifesting that not being the situation that we're in when I get out uh, I'm excited to d go in and do this I'm really nervous honestly because um yesterday ended up feeling really good it went really well i'm just like nervous that like something different's gonna happen today and i'm gonna have like my stomach's gonna growl all the whole time or like i'm gonna like lose my voice or something weird's gonna happen so i'm gonna be really i'm really loving the process like i actually really enjoy doing it, it feels good to read your own book out loud it like it's part of like the process i did when i wrote it but like other i've never read it just like front to back um and I I don't know if I'll ever read any of my books just like front to back for any reason other than to do an audiobook so it feels really exciting to just kind of sit down and read it front to back you know so in that way I'm excited about it but also I get really I just get like so high strung like about this it just feels like I, if I mess up, I'm going to waste everybody's time and money. I, uh, you know, my head just gets like in it. And like the part of me that's a three, two is like very much like wants to be the best, wants to like be super flawless in it and like easy to work with and like just like the absolute best client they've ever had. And like I put so much pressure on myself. This is like not my job. This is like, I mean, it is my job, but it's also like, you know, there are people who do this professionally. That's not me. That will never be me. That's not, that's okay. And I can still do this. You know what I mean? I can still do a good job. I take so much pressure off of myself. There's no pressure. Literally, it's fine. Um, so <laughs> I am, yeah, I'm excited. It's going to be really good when we're we're done and I've done the hard thing. Um, doing the hard thing doesn't feel as good as having done the hard thing. <laughs> that feels better. Good morning. Yep, feeling ready. Okay, so we are done. I recorded my whole audiobook. It is like a little after, like almost one. So I'm going to go grab some lunch um, and figure out how I even feel right now. So I can even tell you how I'm really feeling. So that's the plan. <laughs> So 
So I'm back in the hotel. I still haven't really fully like digested that it's done. I still feel like very high strung. Um, but I did get things that I haven't been able to eat for a couple of days because I was avoiding milk and I was avoiding like anything that could get caught in my throat, like a nut or a coconut or something, anything like that. So I got a cappuccino milky coffee beverage. I have missed them the last few days. And this restaurant in town called Huli Su's where I went for lunch always has these like tiered cakes in the window and they always look so good, but their food is actually like really filling normally, like what I would get there. But I just got a salad and some pineapple today. So I was like, we're getting some dessert. So I got this cake. Obviously like I'm not gonna be able to eat all of that. It felt like, you know, I have food waste stuff. I worry about like not finishing things, but um, I don't care. I'm gonna eat what I can of it. I'm gonna love what I can of it and um, let that be enough. And I'm gonna like go take myself to dinner tonight to celebrate um, having done like this big scary thing. But until then I'm gonna work from the bed. So I think that'll be nice. And I think I need to journal because my feelings are all kind of clogged up and I need to figure out what's going on. Okay, look at the way the sky changes when we go over here. What? That's so cool. It's like we're watching, I can like see the rainstorm in its entirety in like the larger context of the horizon. It's so cool. You're wondering, I still don't know what, how I'm feeling. I think I feel grateful to be done, excited that I did it, proud that I did it, um, excited for you guys to read it. And also like reading your book out loud, some parts I think like, oh, I like this more than I even remember. And other parts I think, I don't like this as much as I remember. <laughs> so it feels really vulnerable. Also, I wrote a lot about my trauma. And so you're like reading about your trauma in front of like two people, you know, it's just like kind of weird, but I also feel like really accomplished and I want to feel like I'm celebrating, you know? But the truth is, and I'm still just kind of like feeling things. So I'm gonna try and move through the feelings, let them flow, and then I'm taking myself to dinner tonight as my like celebration. So that'll be my formal celebration. But for now, I'm just gonna feel what I feel. So I have been just working from the bed for like the last, the hour two hours it's what time is it it's 605 so um I was planning around seven to take myself to dinner um to celebrate because Obes was playing golf he has never played golf before so it was like his first time going with his friend and so we thought he wouldn't be done by now but I just got the text that he's on his way here. So I'm gonna get ready. We're gonna go to dinner and do our, my little celebration dinner together, which is really nice. I really wanted that. So we're doing that and then, I don't know. I think we might go get drinks somewhere or something like that. Or maybe I will, I don't know how much. We don't really drink very much anymore, but I don't have any big, my workload. My workload is pretty low tomorrow, so I feel like I could kind of get crazy. But Obes works at like 7 in the morning, so <laughs> it's not quite the same. Um, so maybe we'll, we'll just see what happens. But we're going to go to um, either Kachina or Contrada. So Kachina is my like favorite restaurant in town. It's like where I go for every special event or celebration and I try to keep it only to special events like birthdays or anniversaries or big milestone type things but um they have a place called Contrada which is like their little bar area that also kind of serves food they have like certain things 
like Conchina is like a tasting menu type restaurant and then Contrada you can get like pizza and appetizers and stuff like that. I've never been to Contrada so it might be really fun for me to go there and I kind of was confident that if I went by myself I could easily get a seat at the bar at Cochina but I don't really know if that will be the case with two of us so we'll see what happens I don't know we'll find out I'm gonna go get ready because this is not the vibe same hair and outfit as earlier and still no makeup this is what I want Okay, I'm here. <laughs> it's like a cat.